But then the would-be, through, through his, uh, he broke down. He begged for forgiveness and tearfully told the owner he was only trying to feed his hungry family. What happened next put the store owner on the cover of the New York Post, which is owned by the parent company of this network. The owner gave the man 40 bucks and a loaf of bread. He also made the man promise never to steal again. And then they prayed together and shook hands. The store owner is with us now. Mohammed Soel is with us and, and live from, where are you today, sir? Good, good. How you doing? Good. Live from Babylon on Long Island, New York. Man, you know, I, you know, big ups to you. I can't imagine that if I'm the guy behind the counter and a man with a baseball bat comes out that I'd end up on my knees praying with him and giving him a loaf of bread. How did this happen? <laughs> the happen is uh, I'm ready to closing the store and uh, the person is, uh, came inside and do some paperwork that times. And uh, that surprise for me is come with a baseball bat and he tell me, uh, give me your money, give me your money. I say, oh, that surprise for me. I say, okay, hold on, hold on, relax, take it easy. He say, hurry up, give me your money. I say, okay, let me give you the money. And I take my gun and put, put it to the person. And, uh, but that gun didn't him, have any bullets in it, did it? <laughs> no, no bullet. <laughs> I tell him, drop the weapon, get down. And uh, then he, you know, he sit down uh, on the floor. And uh, I come to him, and uh, uh, he's starting crying. He's starting crying. He say, please, don't call, please. Don't shoot me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have no money. I am, I am, I have no bread, no nothing eating. I had a whole last week. My family is hungry. I have no job. I'm sorry for that. After then, you know, he's crying like a baby. Hmm. And uh, I feel bad for him. I tell him, OK. You promise with me you never rob anybody again. He said, I'm promise with you I never rob anybody again. I say, okay, that's fine. I go inside, I take a, I open the credit register, take $40, go back, I throw him the money, I tell him, take the money, go home and take care of your family. And uh, when the person see me, I do a nice job with him, everything doing good. He very impressed to me. He said, I want to be a Muslim just like you. I said, you want to be a Muslim just like me? You sure about that? He said, yes, I want to be a Muslim just like you. I said, OK, put your right hand, uh, hand up. He put the right hand, hand hand up. I said, say, la ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulallah. He tells the same thing. And then I shake his hand, and I tell him, take this bread. Let me grab the milk for you. I turn around, I turn back. I go over there, I get the, grab the milk. When I come back, the person is gone. That's the, that's the story. Well, may, maybe, he, maybe he won't rob again, inshallah. But uh, I, I, think inshallah. If no, inshallah. <clears throat> inshallah. I think if nothing else, we, we all got a pretty good lesson. And, you know, I don't know, people are down, try not kicking them. Are you, are you concerned that now that the bad guys know you don't have bullets in your gun and you give away money, that you might have more company? Uh, <laughs> not really. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> I hope not, too. Well, here's, no, to, here's, to, here's no. to the good guy from Babylon, Long Island. It's great to see you. Thanks so much, Mohammed. Good luck to you and yours. Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate to uh, bring me over here. All right. Thank good, you good to see you. Cover of the New York Post this morning. A good story now and then in our down economy. What the heck? What a cool guy. Cool guy right?